Harry and Meghan are over. Chelsea Davies' shy smile during Duke's speech pushed Sussex to collapse. Chelsea Davy offered a shy smile after ripping up her then-boyfriend Prince Harry's best man speech that complimented his sister-in-law Kate Middleton's killer legs, unearthed accounts show. The 36-year-old has remained tight-lipped after her seven-year romance with Harry ended following Kate's nuptials, but questions of her relationship with the royal have continued to be asked. She and Harry, who is now married to former actress Meghan Markle, began their time together in 2004, enjoying what some observers called a real love match. Her influence over the then-labeled reckless royal, a prince regarded as much for his partying as he was for his philanthropy, was noticeable to those closest to Harry. This included on the day Harry delivered his best man's speech at Brother Prince William's spectacular wedding to Kate nearly eleven years ago. Harry ran his speech past Chelsea, who vetoed a number of points the royal was looking to include in it, including about Kate's appearance. In the 2018 biography Harry, Life, Loss, and Love, author Katie Nichol discussed how the speech was altered by Chelsea. She wrote, Chelsea, had helped Harry edit the best man's speech, sensitively advising him to take out a line about Kate's killer legs that might have embarrassed the bride. There was also a line in his speech that also made Kate cry, Ms. Nickel noted, adding, when he said the couple's decade-long romance was his inspiration, there was a shy smile from Chelsea, while Kate shed a tear. The speech was peppered with Harry's classic sense of humor, and he ribbed his brother, William didn't have a romantic bone in his body before he met Kate, so I knew it was serious when William suddenly started cooing down the phone at her. Famous for his mimicry, Harry then impersonated his brother calling Kate Babykins, to much laughter from the guests. Royal author Robert Lacey, in his 2020 book Battle of Brothers, William, Harry and the Inside Story of a Family in Tumult, revealed, though, that this witnessing the union of Kate and William would spell the end of Chelsea's involvement with the prince. He wrote, in 2011, after more comings and goings, she finally decided to go, and it was, ironically, Kate and William's grand and glorious wedding that spring that did it for her. This was reiterated by fellow author Angela Levin, who noted that Chelsea's reaction to the spectacular event had shown her how different the couple's lives were. Writing in Harry, Conversations with the Prince, Ms. Levin added, a friend revealed that seeing the enormity and pomp of the day convinced Chelsea that she and Harry had been right to separate. Although they had a lot in common, she saw clearly that because they came from such different worlds it could never have worked, especially as she valued her privacy and guarded it so carefully. It's been two years since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex carried out their final official engagement as senior royals, and an awful lot has happened since then. Now living in Montecito, California, with two-year-old son Archie in their newest addition, Lilibet, who was born June 4, 2021, the couple have been busy carving out their non-royal careers, which has involved signing deals with Netflix and Spotify. However, fans of Prince Harry and Meghan will likely still remember the historic day they appeared as senior royals for the final time, joining the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William and Kate Middleton at Westminster Abbey for the Commonwealth Day service. Meghan wore a stunning emerald green Emilia Wickster dress with an asymmetrical cape and hat by William Chambers. Meanwhile, Harry looked dapper in a blue suit with matching tie and black shoes, but there was one subtle sweet detail noticed by eagle-eyed fans. When the wind blew Harry's jacket slightly, it revealed the lining of his suit, which was also emerald green, matching Meghan's dress perfectly. Fans were impressed by his romantic nod to his wife, during what they have since described as being a very difficult time in their lives. As being a very 